Hey, turn on and see what you sound like. Yeah. How does work at Sift the Meal? Sift the Meal and say the brand now. I'm going to fix it with Sally Ann. <laughs> and then I just told him, Sally's got a meat skin laid away. She creases my wooden leg every day. <laughs> you know, they just keep going that way. <laughs> I want to tell you about Big Claude and Little Claude, you know. Well, once there was two men, one called Big Claude and one Little Claude, and they lived in a little community, well, town, you know. But uh, now you see back in the days we're talking about, there was not such a thing as an automobile or truck or nothing. They, they, had, to, to, they had to do all of their delivering by horses and, and driving their cattle. They didn't, didn't truck nothing, you know. They didn't truck nothing. And uh, that's, of course, now this one fellow, Big Claude, he had plenty. A little Claude didn't have very much. He didn't have much. And, and every time a little Claude would have a, a load or something to haul, he'd have to haul, go haul something, he'd have to go get Big Claude's horses to haul it with. It. And, of course, always at that time, big crowds of people on the road everywhere. They're just traveling, going, they ain't going nowhere. And he'd holler them on horses. Jeep haul there, my big ten. And Big Claude was with some of the people. He told him, he said, Now listen, little Claude, I don't want you hollered out like that when you're passing a crowd of people. And he said, Oh, he said, he said, Yes, I don't be hollering out like that. And I said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. He said, The next time I hear you do that, I'm going down there and kill your old horse. I'm going down there and kill that old horse if you, if you do that anymore. Well, a few days, little Claude had a big, heavy load to haul. He went over and got Big Claude's horses. To haul with, and uh, he was driving along, you know, and there's a big crowd of people on the road, and, and here old Big Claude was in that crowd too, you know. He hollered, "Jeep, haul there, my Big Tim. Jeep, haul my Big Tim." Well, look, Big Claude told him, said, "You know what I told you?" Yeah, he said. Well, old Big Claude went down there and, uh, and killed little Claude's horse. Well, no. Uh, a little Claude went down and uh, skinned that horse out, put it in the side, took it, started across the mountain. He come to the house. Well, he knocks on the door and he asks if the man was there. And she, she, the woman was there said, uh, no, uh, he wasn't here and he won't be back till evening. And he looked around, you know, and things looked kind of suspicious to him. So he said, you come back this evening and he'll be here. And he said, all right, I will. So he just goes out around the house and went around behind the house, come up on the house, top, and them old houses, you know, summertime they always tore the stove down and left the stove pipe out. <laughs> He's up there sitting up there looking down there, watching down, see what's going on down in there. Here's another man there. No, there's another man there sitting there. Oh, they was, they was just having the ball, cooking healthy, they, pumpkin pie, roasted pig, they had a roasted pig and everything. Well, now, Pretty soon, just for a while, that man come. And little, little Claude sitting up there watching. They had one of these great old big trunks, you know, you've seen what you've seen. This sure man, he run and jumped in at their trunk. That woman just grabbed that pig off and then threw it underneath the bed <laughs> and grabbed that pumpkin pie and shoved him in the cupboard. And, and got down and come, said, he came down and knocked on the door and asked the man, he said, come on in. No, he said, I'm in a hurry, I just want to talk a little bit with you. I said, come on in. It's raining out there. I have some supper here directly. He walked in, sat down, talking to him, and he said, uh, well, I got supper ready, you know, and 
It didn't have much to eat. She didn't bring out none of that stuff. She just had some cornbread and stuff like that. And little Claude looking at that man, you know. He said, I'll tell you what I can do. I can bring you to better food than this with my horse hide. Well, he said, I'd like to see you do it. He just walked over and got that old sack out of the corn tucker and threw her up again in the cabinet. So just calls for pumpkin pie and everything good to eat. Opened the trunk door and in there it is. And he said, yeah, you forgot the pig on, on the bed there. He went in and got that. He said, well, how do you have How much you take that horse hide? He said, I, I wouldn't sell you that horse hide at all. I wouldn't take a million dollars that horse hide. He, he, he said, oh, he, oh, he said, I'll tell you. Uh, I'll give you a bushel of money. I uh, know He said, I ain't going to sell you the horse hide now. He said, I forget on eating. I'm going to show you what this horse hide will do. He said, I'm going to take this horse hide and bring it to the devil. He said, well, I'd like to see that too. They got done eating. He took the old horse out in there and sack and held down over that trunk. He said, this calls for the devil, told that man. I mean, then he looked at him. He said, open it up and see if he's in there. <laughs> he pulled the trunk lid up and then there that man was. <laughs> well, the man said, what did he say? Bushel money? He said, yeah, I'll take a bushel money for it. Well, he said, uh, I'll go measure then. Well, it, 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 neither one of them didn't have no bushel measure. I said they won't borrow a big cloth's bushel measure. They'll go get borrow one off a big cloth. So the big cloth, he wondered what he was measuring. He put some tire in the bottom of that basket and, and you see what he was measuring when he brought the basket back. Uh, he took the basket back and there's a quarter in there. And he looked, you know, see he'd been measuring money. He said, oh, where'd you get all that money, little Claude, that you had to send get my bushel measure measured in? Oh, he said, I sold my horse hide and got it. My God, he said, I'm going to, I'm going to, he said, well, I'll just sell mine. He went down there and killed one of his big fat horses, skinned him out, put it on the buggy, on the wagon, going down through town hall, horse hides for sale, horse hides for sale. You don't skin a lot of skin a horse. Had a little big blood rested and put him in jail. Well, he was in jail all the time. And uh, he got out and come back. He said, uh, Little Claude, he says, You know what I'm going to do for you? Said, what? For getting me in that trouble? He said, I'm going to kill your grandma. He said, I'm going to go ahead and kill her. I don't care. Big Claude did. He went over and killed her. Little Claude went out and got his horse out and put a spring wagon, tuck her over there and brushed her up and put the monitor over and Go down here at this curb service. She's sitting there, you know. He went in order for food, told him to take it out to her grandma. And she, that woman went out there and couldn't get her weight, and she grabbed her with her arm, gave her jorts, fell off and went. Out one little club and had me arrested. She killed my grandma. Had me arrested. She killed my grandma. They told him, said, well, if you don't have us arrested, said, we'll give you a bushel of money if you don't have us arrested. Well, little club said, Vance, it's you. Well, I will not have you arrested. Well, I have to go get a bushel measure. Well, I've got to get big clods. He went up and got big clods, bushel measure. Big clod, one no again, he put some more tar in her, and sent, gave him the basket, and they took her down, measured the money, and little clod came back. And, and here's the money was in, in the basket. He said, hey, little clod, so where'd you get all that money? He said, you had to send him my bushel measure, measure. And said, I sold my grandma and got it. I go, he said, I'll just kill one seller. He just went over and killed his grandma, put her on the buggy, down through the town. <laughs> dead woman for sale, dead woman for sale, boys. I had him arrested, put him in jail again. Well, he stayed in jail a long time. Finally, they turned him out, let him get out. And he told Little Claude, he said, Little Claude, I'm going to kill you. He said, Joe, he said, Yep, I'm going to kill you. He said, How are you going to do it? He said, I'm going to take you to the river and drown you. I'm going to take you to the river and drown you. He said, Well, Big Claude made him a sack, went over and got Little Claude, put him in the sack, tied him up, down the road he went. Come to a church there uh, that's having church. And old Big Claude go along, that old preacher up there, Black Hope Hedrick, just walking over them seats and telling them people where they're going. He thought he'd just go in and see what that preacher said. He set Little Claude down to the door. And uh, one of the men come along, kicked that sack, said, 
What is that in that sack? The little clod said, uh, that's me in there. I said, me who are you? I said, that little clod. I said, what you doing in the sack? He said, big clod take me to the river and drown me. And he's going to drown me. Uh, he said, say, well, I can taste that little clod. I've been wanting to die for the last 10 years. And I didn't want to commit suicide. He said, I'll tell you, I've got a lot of sheep, cattle, horses, big farm and everything. I, he said, oh, sheep, cattle, horses, well, you get out of that sack and let me in there and you can have it all. Told him where he was, go get him. Well, a lot of little clods said, Ben, it's you and you got all that stuff. You want to get rid of it all. Untie the sack. You untie the sack. Big clod from back out. Just picked up the sack, went down to the bridge, you know, and filled her in. Gone, little clod was. Yeah, little clod went after his stuff. He's gone in a couple of weeks. Luckily, come. Uh, Seen it down the road, all big bunch of cattle and stuff were coming, you know. And, and well, they wondered who it was. Everybody went to see what it was, you know, and who it was. Here was little clod driving all that stuff. Oh, big clod went out. So, little clod said, I thought I drowned in you. He said, You did, didn't you? He said, Yeah. He said, where'd you get all this stuff? He said, it's on the bottom of the sea and got it. Big Claude said, I'm going to get me some. He went down there to that river, jumped up and tied a big stone on his feet and jumped, chugged in and he went. Never did see Big Claude after that. As I said, little Claude lived in peace and died in a pot of grease after that, ever since that. <laughs> hey, I'm, you're going to have to take me home. <laughs>